Okay, so for the majority of these flat folds, I'll be using this half flat, and it is the Cloth Ease from Green Mountain Diapers, and it's the Organic Bird's Eye Cotton. And I am in love with these for newborn cloth diapering with flats. Absolutely in love with them. But if all you have is a standard size flat, you'll just fold yours into quarters. When it's all spread out, you'll fold it in half and then in half again. So to make a little tiny square like this. It will make a much bulkier diaper on a tiny baby. And so I recommend, if you can, getting newborn flats or the half flats. But these, a regular standard size flat will work. So I'm going to start by showing you just a standard pad fold for a newborn boy and for a newborn girl. And a standard pad fold is pretty much just this. Fold in thirds and lay it or stuff it in a diaper. Now for a tiny little boy, what I'm doing is just folding the front up. And so this is the length of the diaper. And so if your baby is, you know, really big, then you could do this size. But if your baby is really small, depending on how big your baby is and how big your diaper is that you're using, you adjust the length of the entire diaper by how much you fold this up. So if you have a tiny baby and a little tiny, you know, preemie diaper, you'd want to fold it up really super high. And if your baby's getting a little bit bigger, you can fold it, you know, here. This is probably about where Cruz is. And then we're going to fold it in fourths because newborn diapers are much smaller than one size. Now for a little boy, what that does is it places all that absorbency there in the front. So I'll open it up a little bit to show you. But as you can see, there is four layers there in the front for a little boy. And when it's all folded together, there is 16 layers here in the wet zone versus eight back here. And so for this one, I'm not going to show you what it looks like because you would either obviously lay this in a cloth diaper cover or you would tuck it in a pocket cloth diaper. But that is a pad fold for a little boy. Now a pad fold for a little girl gets a little more tricky. And this is kind of an improvised one that I came up with. So you're going to start with it basically folded into thirds instead of a perfect square. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to fold this up a little bit and it will make sense in a second. Okay, then you'll fold this back up to where you had it and fold this over a little bit, just like the one we just did. But what that is going to do is make a wet zone for a baby girl right here in the middle that is double the absorbency as the outside. So it's in the middle for a baby girl. And we're going to do the same thing as the boy version and we're going to fold it into four. Now, this is, has 16 layers of absorbency for a baby girl in the middle and eight on the outsides. So super, super good for a little girl and it's tiny. So that is a modified pad fold for a baby girl. And that is using a size half flat. For this other version of the newborn girl pad fold, you're going to have this folded in two thirds like this. And you're going to have the top a little bit further hanging off of the edge. And it's important to have this top fold up here. Then it's really super easy. Then you're just folding this top layer over like this, making a super thick wet zone in the middle for a baby girl. And then you're going to fold it into fourths or thirds if, you know, it's a wider diaper. But there it is with all that absorbency in the middle there. So that is a different style for a baby girl. 20 layers of absorbency in the wet zone for a baby girl. So it's a little bulky there in the middle, but this is going to last a baby girl a long time.
now for the Joe fold, and it is super simple. You're going to start with a square or a rectangle-ish shape. This is going to be the width of your wings, and so if you need the diaper a little bit shorter, you can experiment with folding it up into kind of more of a rectangle. But then what you're going to do is fold it into thirds like this, and you're just going to open the back up fan it out like that and your baby's bottom is going to go right here. You're probably going to want to fold the front down. More than likely you're going to need to fold the front down for a little tiny baby and so that makes this fold also very good for baby boys because you can see all that extra absorbency there in the wet zone for a baby boy. Now I will show you what this looks like on an actual newborn. Here he is. He is just about six pounds and three weeks old. And I always like to kind of roll the legs in no matter what fold I'm doing, just because it kind of gives a little gusset for the poop to get caught so it doesn't come out. It's all right, buddy. And then you're gonna hold the sides down around baby, pull the wings around, and then you're going to secure it with snappy pins, boingo, whatever you're using to secure. So. Here is that fold on him and it looks excellent. The legs are really nice and snug and that is what the Joe fold looks like on a newborn baby. Okay, now this next one is the kite fold, the newborn kite fold. Okay, we switched because he peed in his other one. So this is a bamboo, a stretchy bamboo uh, flat. Oh, you start with it in a square and for a big flat like i said you are going to fold it into quarters so now you're going to fold it in and make it look like a kite so fold in each side and fold the top down and then you fold the bottom up so you end up with this shape so you will notice a lot of flat folds end up with the diaper in this shape and then this is what you're going to fold on baby. All right, and this one's gonna be pretty bulky because this is folded in so many layers. Oh, your little heel's getting caught on there, buddy. It's gonna be pretty bulky, but it would be a good nighttime diaper. Okay, so there it is on him. As you can see, it is super, super, super bulky, but with a trimmer diaper, it would look significantly better. Okay, I switched back to a newborn flat because the one size is just too bulky. So this is the Clothies Organic Muslin Diaper, and it's the newborn size. And so for the neat fold, you're going to want this in a square and so I had to fold this in half and then just up a little bit to make a perfect square. So disregard this, just pretend it's one piece. And so then you're going to fold one corner into the middle, then the opposite corner into the middle. And then you're going to fold one side over so it's flush with the top of the diaper like this and then the other side over so it's flush with the top of the diaper, like that. And now you're back to that shape, which is what I told you. A lot of the diapers end up looking like this, this shape right here. And so then we're going to put this on baby. Okay, so it's a little bit bulky still, even with a newborn diaper, but this is what it looks like. and. I do try to roll the legs in, but it's really hard with them little at this age. And so, and it's normal for flats to fit a little bit more like boy shorts. So I'm gonna flip him over and show you. So they end up looking a little bit more like boy shorts often, and that's totally fine. Just make sure when you put your cover on that there isn't any of the absorbent material sticking out anywhere. Okay, now for the angel wing fold, you'll want a square. So this is a half flat, or you could use a bigger, regular one size flat and fold it into a smaller square. And then you're going to fold in a third, fold in another third. And this is actually very similar to the Joe fold. 
then you're going to fold these wings out and you're going to actually pull them down a little bit more and as you do that you see this folds down the back folds down and there is your diaper so this is actually excellent for a little tiny baby because that is a really small little diaper there this is about the size cruise is right now so yeah excellent great little fold now the angel wing fold on him And you can always fold this down and fold the wings around. Now, with this one, you're going to want to kind of catch these flaps that are back here. And there is the fold on Baby Cruise. The legs look good, nice and tight. So that is the angel wing fold. Okay, now this is the origami fold, and with the half flat, you're already starting with two layers. If you're using a regular one size flat and folding it into a quarter, you're already going to have four layers. So this will make an incredibly bulky diaper. So if possible, I highly recommend using a half flat for these. Okay, so you're gonna start with your diaper in a square. You're going to fold up. Then you're going to fold over. Then you're going to take what would be the top corner. However, it will be two layers, so just remember that. And you're going to just pull that out all the way over until it makes a triangular shape. And you might have to play around and experiment and practice this a couple times. It took me a couple times to get it. This is kind of a difficult fold, so if you don't succeed at first, just keep trying. I promise you will get it. So then you're going to take the whole diaper, maintaining the shape. So I find just kind of holding right here in the middle works the best and just kind of grabbing all the layers and flip it over. So you want to maintain that whole shape. And so when you flip it over, this is what it should look like. There should be this middle flap and there should be these two triangular wings on each side with this flap here in the middle. And then what you're going to do is either fold this into thirds and see now how it made a diaper shape, or you can take this middle flap and fold it into half if you have you know a bigger baby or if that just works better for you. And this is an extremely tiny fold, but there is a lot of absorbency right here in the wet zone with not as much out here on the wings. And like I said, this would fit a very small baby. Now I'll just show you super fast with the one size flat how bulky this is because it is crazy bulky with a one size flat. Yeah, see that? It is crazy bulky, so you wouldn't even be able to really get this on a baby. It would be so bulky. So I definitely recommend using the half flats if at all possible. Okay, and I just folded this over in half instead of thirds, and we'll see how this does on him. Okay, and there's the origami fold, and it actually looks pretty good. You can always tuck the legs in a little bit to make it a little less boy short looking, but look at that. That goes way under the umbilical cord. This would be great for a little preemie baby. So that is the origami fold on Baby Cruise. Happy Ant Eater fold is just like the origami fold, except for you fold these up like this at the end, the wings up, and then you put it on baby. So I experimented with a flower sack towel to make a little bit bigger of one to try on him. And we'll see how this looks on cruise now. 
paint. So we will try this one out and see what it looks like on him. And it's honestly looking almost identical to the regular origami fold. But it is just a, a different fold, so I wanted to show it and show what it looks like. So that is the Happy Ant Eater Fold. And it is made with a flour sack towel instead of the half flat that I have been using. I folded it down so it wasn't the full one size, regular size. I folded each side in just a little bit to make a smaller square to start with. So that is the Happy Ant Eater Fold. Okay, then for the diaper bag flat fold, you're going to start with a square and fold each side in to the middle like this, so halfway. Then you're going to fold the front up as much as you need for whatever rise you need for your baby. Then you'll fold the front in on each side and you'll fold the back out. And then this is going to fold up on baby. When I was folding it up, I thought, wow, that's way too tiny for him. However, it is not at all. So this is, the shirt is way too big. This is what it looks like on him. Now this one has a lot more around the legs, a lot more bulk around the legs. But that is the diaper bag flat fold. Because of all this bulk around his legs, I'm not really a fan. But it does go pretty low here for under the umbilical cord. So next, I will show you the newborn pretzel fold. Okay, so for this one, I'm using a flour sack towel. And I folded it down to make it smaller. So just pretend that this is a regular square, you know, disregard where I have it folded unless you're doing that yourself. But what you're going to do for this fold is start with a square and then you're going to fold it in half diagonally. So you end up with a big triangle like this. Then you're going to fold the back down like this and fold each of these little guys up. And then you're going to fold or roll each side in like this. So it looks like this. And then you're going to put it on your baby. Okay, this might be a little big, but when I tried to do it with the half flat, I was not able to do it because it was way too tiny. So we will give it a try with this flour sack towel here. Okay, yep, so it is fitting, but you're just ending up with a lot of extra wing. So when you have extra wing, you can either tuck it in the other side, or you can fold it back over on itself. So with this side now, you can either fold it all the way around, or I just like to tuck it back under itself if it's too long. That's actually not too bad because there's he's a little boy, so there's a whole bunch of extra absorbency right there. So it looks kind of crazy. However, I kind of like it. Like, I kind of like it. I kind of like the fit. There's not much in the back, but there is a whole bunch of absorbency here in the front. And it actually fits, like, pretty good through his crotch area. So, with a little experimentation on sizing, playing with it, like I always say, play with cloth diapers, figure out what works for you. But, with a little experimentation, I think this could become a really cool flat fold. You know, it might become, might become our favorite. So, that is the newborn pretzel fold. Okay, then this is the airplane fold. So, you start with a square and you're going to fold in each bottom corner to the middle like this. Then you're going to fold up the front corner just a little bit, actually however much you want for the rise, you know. And then you're going to fold in each side like this so that they meet in the middle like that. 
So there should be a line right down the middle. And it should look like that. A lot of people tuck these down as well to make it just, you know, a straight line in the back. I don't really think it matters that much. But then you put it on your baby. Okay. And again, you can always roll the legs. Which always helps make a snug fit. Which I like to do with most flat folds. And then you just kind of hold one in place while you do the other. And it takes some practice. You can also use their bottom to hold it in place, although he's so tiny, makes it pretty hard. Then you're going to fold up the front and try and maintain that tension around the legs. It's hard with a squirmy, squirmy little one though. And then you're going to fold the wings around. You can always tuck the leg back in a little bit, kind of roll it, fold it under their bottom, under their butt cheeks there, and then pull the wing around and snug. As snug as you can keep it, you'll get a tighter, better fit around the legs. And then the snappy, I always hook, and then I pull, maintaining the tension so it doesn't come off, and then slide your fingers down to the other end and grab that little hook, or that little that little stretchy loop at the other side, pull it over and hook it. And you can always pull the diaper over, stretch it tighter before you hook this to get it tighter around his leg. And then you're going to pull this down and hook it. So pretty snug fit around his legs. Like, look at that. No poop is getting out of that. None. And... On this side, this side's not quite as tight, but it is tight and no poop is going to get out of there. That is a good, that's a nice fitting flat right there. So that is the airplane fold. Then we have the bikini fold and it's kind of hard to do hold with one hand, what, you know, for me to do while holding him so I'm just going to move him over to show you. You start with a square and you scrunch it up in the middle like an accordion and you flip it over. Now I did use this fold on my older daughter when she was a baby and this is a nightmare to clean poop out of. Now it's really good for little girls if it's just used for potty but until your baby's on a pretty routine poo schedule I don't really recommend this one, but I'm showing it just in case there's some of you that want to see it on a newborn. So I'm going to try it on him. However, I do not recommend this one with a newborn. Okay, so laying him right there on the middle. We're going to fold this up. The one good thing is you don't have to fold the legs or roll the legs in at all because they're already pretty much rolled in. Then you're going to fan the front out, tuck the sides under, and pull the wings around like this. And again, this isn't fitting too, too poorly. You can always tuck it down if you're using it on a smaller baby. But, you know, like I said, this one is not fun to clean poop out of. So, the legs are fitting okay. But, I don't know. I, you know, I'll experiment with this one and I will let you guys know how it goes. I will try it with a newborn and let you guys know how it goes. So, that is the bikini twist fold. Okay, and then I'm going to finish up showing you the custom fold. So you're going to start with a square, and you're going to fold either the front down or the back down. And the front is going to be for a little boy, and the back is going to be for a little girl. And you're going to fold either the front or the back down to determine the rise, so the length of the diaper. So we're going to fold it to about here for a baby boy. And then you're going to fold in the sides to determine the width of the diaper. So that's why it's called the custom fold because you can literally customize this diaper to fit any size baby. And so this is going to be the width of your diaper, the wings. And so you want this as wide as you are going to want your diaper. 
Then you are going to fold in each front corner to the middle like this. And that is it and pull it up. But see where it puts all that absorbency in the front for a little boy versus if you're doing it for a little girl, you're not going to want all that absorbency in the front. So we're going to change it up like this. And there's still a fair amount of absorbency there in the front, but there's a lot more here in kind of the back and the middle for a baby girl. Now it does make the wings pretty bulky, but it's still doable. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like on cruise. So we're gonna go to about here, fold in each wing, or fold in each side, I guess I should say. Okay, so there's the front for cruise. Okay, and this looks about perfect. So I'm gonna refold, because those won't stay, but I'm going to refold those back to the middle and now fold it up onto him. And we're going to fold the wings around. I'm gonna to have to spread these out a little bit, otherwise I'm not gonna have enough to catch for the snappy. But here we go. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. We're almost done, baby. Oh, look at that. That one looks good. Let's tuck these in a little bit. Okay, here you go, baby. Here you go. And that is the custom fold for newborns for cloth diapers.